Hey y'all, it's Gracie here from Central Beekeeper Supply. I just received a brand new pair of high C boots and wanted to do a quick unboxing and a first impression review for you. So let's just dive right in. So the boot that I got, it's the women's mid-calf rubber garden boot. Um, and although they may just look like a black boot on the outside, look at the inside. This is my favorite part. This is why I picked up this pair of boots. Um, you can wear them as the, the mid-calf that they are if you're needing to do chores, if you're um, just working around the house. And then if you need to run some errands, you can just roll this right down. Um, and then you have a cute... Um, inside to the boot and it works as a shoe so let's flip this on um, and let's just see what this is all about super easy to slip on um, i love how it's got this hard part around the foot here um, but it's not too hard it's not too clunky or anything like that um, and then this just flips right down so like i said if you needed to maybe you're doing a project around the house and then you needed some supplies needed to run an errand and um, you can just flip that right down, have a cute shoe, um, or just wear it as an everyday shoe. Maybe it's raining, anything like that. So super cute. And um, the fabric seems very lightweight and breathable, and it's also waterproof. So in the mornings before I leave for work, there's just a few chores that I always have to get done. One of them being walking the dog. This is Ruger. Um, and I don't like going outside when I'm all ready and getting my feet wet. I mean, who likes to do that? So these boots are perfect just to slip on, just to walk the dog around the yard, maybe do a few early morning chores, um, and then it keeps your feet dry and clean. Hey, good morning, everybody. We were contacted by a company called High C. They wanted us to do a product review, and they have sent us a couple pair of boots. I'm super excited to do this for them. Um, they're a rubber, high-topped boot like I like to wear around the farm. Um, I think they're going to be great for, you know, taking care of your animals, working in the garden working your bees uh, as beekeepers you know we let things grow up and get a little too thick because we're hoping our bees are getting a little extra pollen and nectar but short story new boots from high c we're going to open them up take a look at them we'll tell these folks what we think about them uh, they've been gracious enough to say that all of our viewers if they're watching this, they will receive a percentage off if they use a promo code that you'll see on our channel. Um, I'm excited. I don't know anything about the boot, but we're going to find out. So let's take a look at these dudes. So I think from a visual standpoint, they look very well constructed. They got a nice cleat that looks to me like it will probably clean out well. Um, good sealed sole to the boot. These are lightweight. Um, they're not a super insulated boot. I'm interested to see how cool or how warm these will be this time of year. As we all know, it can get pretty warm here in Arkansas. I love the fact that they've got this blaze orange fabric on the inside. I'll be able to wear that, roll that boot down. That'll add a little extra protection too to you hunters when you're moving from stand to stand or location to location give you a little extra visibility this is a high topped boot that's going to add some some snake protection early and some tick protection as well looks to me like they've got the cleat the lug on the back 
to help you pull that boot off with your other foot. Uh, let's see if we can put one of these on. I'm not certain that I'm immediately no. Oh yeah, quick buckle. Got it. Okay. Super good fit. Everything tag off. Let's just put the other one on. I really like this. Easy adjustment clip. Let you get that boot opened up. Oh yeah, those feel nice now. Like I said, I think if you want to have a little bit extra airflow down in that boot, I think that's how I would wear them. Let that heat come up out of there when you're doing your, your chores, your day to day. Now, when I get out in the bee yard, I also think with the ticks that we have here in Arkansas, that I would want to lace these up. Oh, that's easy. Snap that. And I think we're good to go. That puts a little bit better seal up here on your boot. And we're just going to give them a shot here. I got the feeding chicken to be fed this morning yet, so we're going to start that. Okay, well, you going to feed the chicken? pull some honey today I'm gonna pull the rest of what's in this yard uh, you've seen us we've we pulled Cora's fantastic honey uh, I think the, the name's still up in there but she's gonna get it worked out she's pretty <laughs> excited about it she got an entire full full five gallon bucket of honey and she is ecstatic to say the least all right this was a hive that was i believe a swarm? swarm i think was that the three swarms could have been 
I don't really remember. Anyway, this one, this is going to end up, I, you know, if it, if, if it truly has three full supers, Cora's not going to be, uh, you know, very pleased with me about it. Uh, because as you saw, she had two on hers. The third was 50% and it was just nectar. But anyway, shady up under here, I'll pull these last. Know to you really get in there and pull them so i guess what i'm saying is is i you know at the end of whole this whole deal we'll give you a report on how much honey we had <clears throat> these bees set themselves up to breathe uh, you can feel the air so they pull and they push and they they have a changing of the guard so to speak uh, i saw one come in with pollen i don't remember i haven't looked at a lot of these recently since we went through a flow i'm convinced that the bees down here on the end which are cores i'm convinced that they had a a sumac bloom and i really think that that's what they produced that uh deep rich burnt orange red looking honey got a great flavor it's unique to itself uh I'll be interested to to see it in a bottle so we've got a lot to do today we wanted to bring y'all along on this quick spot check uh, I've got honey to pull Grin's got some things to do um, she is gracious enough to come out and run the fancy shooting stick for me while we talked a little bit back to the high C booth I think these are gonna be a great boot so far so good haven't had you know haven't had them on all that long but I am one who will put them through the rigors if there's a problem I'll find it the folks at high C wanted us to try them out that's what we've done remember if you see these on our channel there'll be a product code spider. and a spider <laughs> click on the spider you'll get a link to high C, use our promo, promo code 10 15 percent off for making a purchase. Uh, remember, we're trying these boots out for these folks, they want y'all to try them out. You guys get the chance, let's check it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>